Hey everybody, it is Bullen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Happy Saturday. Hope you're all having a great Saturday, great weekend so far. So this video is going to be a little bit different. This isn't going to be a drama video. This is actually going to be like a little try on haul video because I went and got some things the other day and I filmed a little bit of the process as well. I have been in a bit of a kind of funk for what feels like the last kind of two months and I was like do you know what it is time to update my wardrobe a bit it is time to get summer ready it is time to update myself a little bit and also try and get out of my comfort zone you know wear things that I wouldn't normally or try things that I wouldn't normally so I was like okay I'm gonna film a little bit of this and make it a little vlog style video so let's get into it now I know like most people who are subbed to this channel, thank you by the way, thank you so much, I love you guys. The people who are subbed to this channel I think are mainly from America and Australia. So size wise I think it's going to be different sizes but in the UK where I live I'm normally a size like XL in sort of high street retailers but normally nobody carries my size and I find it really really difficult to actually get clothes so I always struggle with clothes shopping and I always come out feeling depressed or feeling moody or something because like I feel huge I feel fat you know nobody carries my size all of this stuff but actually it was kind of surprising when I went on this trip and you know I found some stuff and we're going to get into it but yeah I do want to say that it's normally really hard for me to find clothes because I'm a UK I can be anywhere depending on the brand it's really really weird depending on the brand I can be anywhere between a size like XL I can be a size 18 in women's clothes a size 20 in women's clothes a size 22 in women's clothes depending on you know that's UK sizes depending on the brand it varies and once you get up to like a size 16 most UK high street stores don't carry your size so for me as somebody who's normally a size 18 or you know a 20 in some brands who cut small sizes it's nigh on like impossible to find clothes so I went out went on a little excursion to see what I could find and yeah let's get into the video I started off in Primark trying on this cute pink suit. It was like a jacket and like a skirt, so like a skirt short combo. Really reminded me of Clueless, that did. I loved it, but I wasn't sure. Then I tried on these like kind of prairie dresses and a denim jacket. And I was like, mm, don't know. So I went to have another look around, went into H&M. I tried this orange crochet number didn't love it. I tried this pink and I lo liked it but it was like the arms are just way too big you can see and then I tried on this and it's unusual for me to actually look at a crop top on the hanger. Then there was this moo moo which girl I really didn't like it and then in new look I got bored of like waiting for the queue for the fitting room so I was like fuck it I'm just gonna try the clothes on over the clothes that I'm wearing so I tried on a couple of their dresses that kind of caught my eye first one I was like mm, no it's way too mumsy the second one I liked this cute little red number I think it's quite sweet then I went back to H&M and I found some other things that I didn't see before this cute leopard print number and then some other cute stuff like the pink dress that I tried on before. I tried it in the size down and I was like, actually, it's okay. It fits, which surprised me. Then there was this blue one with the cutouts on the back. It was like a ribbed lycra dress. I mean, it was cute, but I wasn't like mm, raving. And then I saw this green on the way out of the store and I was like, girl, let me try that on. The color is fab gorge gorge color hey guys okay so we are out in a coffee shop at the moment please please excuse my skin this horrible friend on my chin here and on my nose hormones when this 
when this happens, I break out like a certain time of the month, you will know. I break out and it just is what it is. But you know, that's what makeup's invented for so that we can cover all this mess. But now me, after thinking that I really wouldn't do well today in like retail stores and high street because previously I normally can't get anything to fit me when I come clothes shopping. I normally really, really struggle and come home with nothing. Bitch, today, come through H&M, come through, honestly, like, I did not think I would be getting anything, but I am doing pretty well, so I'm just sat here now, chilling with a coffee before I go on to my next shop, and we'll see what that brings, but, damn, like, it's a good job a bitch got paid, because I did not think I was going to be buying anything from H&M, but, We'll see. You'll have to watch on to see what I actually bought out of what I tried on. So I will show you and you guys can let me know what you think. What do we think? I like it. It's quite a lot of money, but I like it. Well, it's a lot of money for me. I do like it though. I'm like tempted. Okay, so I know I've got it on over the t-shirt and that makes it look weird, but what do you think? Cute little body. <coughs> I like this detailing on it at the front. I know it's like a simple black body, but that is kind of sexy. Okay, so there, I've tucked it in between my legs. What do you think now? I'm very tempted. It is very cute. Sexy for night time. I don't know. Okay, now I know I've got them on over the trousers, but I can't be asked queuing up for the fitting room. And look, what do you think? Okay, TK Maxx makeup, and they've got the ABH Riviera palette. I really wanted this when it came out, so I'm actually going to grab one of these because it's half price. That is a steal. Okay, so we've also got this Illamasqua palette, if I can get it open. Oh, that is actually super cute. I'm getting that too. Um, how much is that? $9.99, fuck, steal, I'm getting that. And we've got some Huda Beauty lip kits here as well. Uh, other stuff. Some L'Oreal, no, we don't support them they are amber turd supporters i'm kind of debating about the hoodie lip kit though okay so we've got more illamasqua there's lipsticks here oh what shade is that is that black yeah i'm getting that okay pink pink black oh, this is good makeup you know black Okay, so we've got two of these Illamasqua lipsticks that I'm getting. Two purpley shades. The other one that I thought was black is white. But we've also got this gel liner from Illamasqua, which I'm going to grab. $3.99 still. Okay, so we've got more Huda Beauty lipsticks here as well. I'm actually going to leave, I think, this Huda lip kit. It's cute, but like, girl, no, I've got my Illamasqua. I'm good. Look though, there's loads of Marc Jacobs stuff. There's some Sephora stuff in here as well that I found. Crazy. Look what else I found, KVD eye crayons. Look at these colors, pigment sticks. I am grabbing those, grabbing them. So you've got brushes, lashes. I've got lashes for now. I really don't need any more lashes, but nails. No, I think this is it today. I think I'm good with these. Like, these are bargains. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I found some drama. Look, they've got the Jordan Wood lashes in. Ah, love it. Lo, ha, ha, Chloe. Shall I get the Jordan Woods lashes? <laughs> but actually, these lashes look really cute. They look a little bit like the Tati lashes that I wear. Hmm, interesting these ones 
a little bit like the Mitchell Tatty Lashes. Those are cute. You guys look Becca. Becca loose highlighters. R.I.P. Okay, so the first outfit that I've got here is like a little leopard print body. This was from H&M and the shorts I actually got a Primark. I don't know if you can see, these are like a sort of almost knee length denim short. I thought they were more practical than like the lime green ones. So that is outfit number one. Okay, now I love a bodysuit, right? I love a bodysuit. So you've got this little number, little lime green kind of chartreuse coloured number, little sleeveless one, and also this blue. And these were just like Primark, but honestly, I just thought they were cute. I'm going to wear them for like videos and just day to day like summer stuff. See, this one's got the little cutout things there. Staying with Primani as well, I've got this, which is a skirt with the split in the side. So, yeah, this is actually really cute on. I looked at it on the hanger and I was like, mm, I don't know, I don't know about that. But it is actually so, so cute on. Just a little kind of hippie-ish marbled skirt. Really cute, really light, but, you know, not see-through. So I was like, yep, yeah, that's cute. Also, like, affordable, you know, Primark prices, it's not, like, expensive. It is all fast fashion stuff because, you guys, you know me, you know, I do not have the budget for Chanel and Dior and all that stuff. And, yeah, I grabbed a denim jacket as well because, do you know what, I have not had a denim jacket in so long. Like, I lost my last denim jacket about two summers ago in a pub. And, honestly, I've been looking for just a nice casual denim jacket ever since because I think in the summer they're kind of so versatile they go over a bodysuit they go over a dress anything so yeah I just thought this one was cute and this actually shows you how much more confident I've gotten recently as well I would previously have never ever ever dreamed of wearing a crop top but this when I tried it on in the store I fell in love you know really affordable now this is from H&M and it's got a little tie here with a little keyhole moment. I've not got the best bra on today. But if you look at it, it is actually really, really nice on. It's quite a nice length. Okay, yeah. This is me. This is my body. But, you know, I'm actually super confident like this now. I would never have been that confident before. But I am now. That shows you, like, how happy I am now in myself that I can do that. And I love this so much that I actually got the same damn thing in orange because I just thought that was really cute. So, yeah, this is this is the new me, body confident, body positive. And then this that I was wearing in the beginning of the video, again, another bodysuit. I've got a bodysuit problem, okay. But this, again, is from H&M, really affordable. And also, on that note, all of these that are from H&M, that I've got they're all made from recycled materials as well so actually you know they're part of H&M's conscious range so although it is like fast fashion I'm trying to be like as economical as I can like buying sustainable things or more sustainable things where I can but yeah I really love these little tops I think they're so so cute now this again super super cute from H&M again it's part of their like recycled materials range so i'm going to step back and show you because it's like a dress that you can put on over like a like a swimsuit like a bikini like a little crop top like this one super versatile for summer i was like yeah that is a bit of me leopard print my favorite color of course okay so this is the zara body on this is what it looks like not under a t-shirt or over a t-shirt rather I've got a little black denim skirt on here, which is a little Primani one. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I really wasn't like 110% on this, but now that I've got it on without a t-shirt, I'm like, actually, it's kind of cute. Let me know what you guys think, if I should keep it or not. Let me know. Yep, I got the pink H&M dress as well, and this is... With a big split there, you can see I've got little shorts on underneath, don't worry. You're not going to see anything, you shouldn't. But yeah, like, this is actually really cute. 
one thing about me when it comes to like clothes I really really don't like chintz or like little house on the prairie type stuff and honestly when I was going round that is a lot of what is out there at the moment everything's got like frills floral print and I'm like dude this is really not my taste I don't like this it looks very very much little house on the prairie and it's not my thing at all I just don't vibe with it give me some plain like block color and I'm there but like honestly you can dress this down with just like a denim jacket you can put the leather jacket on for night and some heels and you're good to go you know holidays parties all that stuff it is so cute excuse this messy wig and makeup of course I was doing a drama video so it doesn't go with the clothes but girl I had to look at this beauty I had to I am in love with this like real love like I would never have had the confidence before to do this like cut out situation or to wear this bold of a colour with a cut out situation but I freaking love this dress like I don't think you understand I love this dress and I'm going to be wearing it of course I've got the wrong bra on with it as well don't mind that but like she's stunning here you go cute right and this is what I'm talking about when I say it's all like recycled materials as well so that is so cool that I'm finding things that I love so much that I'm gonna wear like this year next year however long and it's all like recycled materials that is pretty cool okay now this is the last thing yeah I did go like one kind of flouncy thing because it was leopard print and I like the way it fitted me so I was like yeah got it again this is another H&M find so and again it's part of their like recycled materials range and there we go let's just put that up there yeah well there you go I think it is really cute sorry my shorts there we go super cute right so that about wraps this one up I think I don't think there's anything that I should have said that I didn't say you know I got that one black body from Zara everything else is from H&M and Primark I did go and look in a couple of other stores but didn't really have any luck because of the sizes so like definitely still most of the high streets and like high street retailers are not like plus size girl friendly mm -mm, no or plus size person friendly no but you know I think I was lucky to get what I got love some of the pieces still kind of I'm in an R in about that black body from Zara but let me know your thoughts and if you like the things that I got if you think my taste is awful you can tell me that also I really don't mind I'm not for everybody so take care stay safe stay well and I will see you guys on the next one bye